Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I know it's not an exciting intro, but we are in the car and we are on our way to celebrate our one year wedding anniversary, which I'm super excited about. We're gonna hike up to a mountain and stay on an epic cabin in the wilderness and it's gonna be fun. We're dropping our daughter off, Sydney. We're just at the gas station real quick, picking up a few last minute things. Um, we are gonna stop at REI because all I have is a day pack. I don't have an overnight bag and I think I would by now, but sometimes you just have to impulse purchase things just like I did for my day pack like six years ago and it was like the best investment ever. Anyway, so we're gonna go stop at REI, it's about three, about 3.30 right now, so we're gonna drop Sydney off and my parents are gonna watch my dog and then we're gonna stop at REI and then go to our friend's house and then yeah, I'll take you along for the ride. Okay, so we just hiked at three miles, and it's 11.20 p.m. on uh, Friday. Anniversary's on Sunday. We got our wedding cake. My dad brought this like 20 times, but check this out. And that one's filtered. Stop. It is good. Okay. We got our champagne. Can you even drink this? And we're gonna celebrate. Yeah, you can yeah. drink this. Uh, I brought so much water. Oh, good enough. Actually, well, you can drink the water here. A little bit. Yeah, that's super. Wait, we got cheers. Cheers, of course. No. Okay. Oh, ready? I wonder how much water it is. Happy anniversary. Mm -hmm. Still good? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I thought it was about cups. Okay, well, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> what do I do? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> do you have an audio? Or? So I turned this thing on. This cake is perfect, by the way. Red velvet. I think it was like a cream cheese frosting. Yep. Thank you. Go tonight. Go tonight. <laughs> Good night. I'll see you tomorrow. I gotta put my flannel on because it's kind of appropriate, if you know what I'm saying. Are you even from the Pacific Northwest if you don't have a flannel? If you want to look like you're from the Pacific Northwest, put on a flannel because I'm feeling it. So, oh my God, you guys here. This is freaking rad, y'all. Oh my God. Woo. It is so beautiful. Oh, you can't even see. Yeah, so we got here like at 11 o'clock last night. It was pitch black dark. So there's seven of us in our group and there was one bed in this place that was reserved. And we're like, oh my God, what if, what if they had like brought friends with them? Maybe they took up all the beds. Are they all sleeping? Are they gonna kill us? I don't know. So we got here, super cool chick. It was on her birthday. Go, son. And she likes to do something kind of scary on every single one of her birthdays and she came here all alone. So much respect for her. Um, yeah, so awesome. So we got up, or she got up, because um, she was kind of sleeping. We started, popped a bottle of champagne, ate her wedding cake, and it was super cool and it was super chill. We were just up to like 12.30 and uh, we woke up about 4.30 for sunrise. And then, boy, it was so worth it. Um, there's a lot of cloud coverage right now, but 
um, when the sun started to peak up, it was bright red because there's a lot of wildfires down in um, California. So yeah, just enjoying that. I don't know how much longer we're gonna hang out here today or this morning. Um, people are still kind of sleeping, kind of waking up, eating, taking naps, but um, yeah, it was a really hard hike. <laughs> it was like 23,000 feet elevation gain over the course of three miles, a little over three miles. This is what life is about. This life is just about waking up <laughs> real freaking early, even when you don't want to, and watching the sun rise with strangers, and you know, they turn into friends, essentially. So, <sighs> for all my people who don't like <laughs> to wake up before nine o'clock, for eight o'clock, most of my fondest memories are from when I stayed up really late or woke up at like two in the morning to watch the sunrise. And, and it's just, that's just what life's about. You have to make memories because life goes by so fast. And for me this past year, I've been saying yes to a lot more opportunities. Like if you've seen the movie, Yes Man, that's me. That's what I'm just trying to do this whole entire summer or the whole entire year. Um, Ever since I kind of opened myself up and opened up my heart and soul, and I've been saying the yes more, I've been experiencing so much more. Um, and it's awesome that I met my friend Nicole. My husband went to school with her and her husband. And you know, when you just like meet someone and you're like, your souls are like the same person. So we've been hiking a bunch together. So it's been a lot of fun. Um, yeah, get to know her and everything. Alright, I'm gonna go. I'll keep you guys updated, but I'm just gonna chill with my friends, so I'll see you in a little bit.